I thought I would come on and talk a little bit about what it is to be a mindful millionaire. I wrote a book about it five years ago. Um, book came out in 2020 and it continues to reveal itself to me. Last night I did a group call uh, on X um, after an interview I had given and it was a live engaged discussion with a group of people talking about their money stories or talking about their childhoods and asking me questions about how these things that had happened when they were young, how they related to their experiences with money now later in life. And it was such a rich discussion. It made me so happy to hear people opening up about their experiences, you know, like what was it like growing up and how did your parents experience money? I have an exercise that I used to do, uh, kind of like a meditation where I would encourage people to close their eyes and go back in time to a childhood home and sit down at the kitchen table or wherever money topics were handled by your parents and just be an observer of what was happening when you were growing up with money. Like, what were your parents talking about? What were the things that caused them stress or anxiety? What was the meaning that you were giving to those conversations that your parents were having about money? What feelings did you have when they had certain types of conversations? What did you think? What conclusions did you, you know, arrive at? And as you do this meditation and you think about what was happening with money when you were growing up, what can happen for us as human beings is we start to see patterns or we start to have realizations of how those stories and those experiences when we were growing up with money, how they have affected your life. What patterns have they created for you? Sometimes, like me, you are so traumatized by the experiences with money that you do everything in your power to be as far away as possible from what your parents were doing with money. Like for me, it was all about getting educated and being like really responsible and feeling like I could take care of myself no matter what happened from a young age. So that was part of the meaning that I was giving it, that I wasn't safe and I needed to, to take charge of my life and take charge of my money. And so that's exactly what I did. Last night, there was a woman who was sharing that she, one parent had grown up telling her that life is abundant and that money would always be there when she needed it. It would always appear. And she really took that to heart. And she said, that's true. That is exactly what's happened in my life. Money's always been there when I needed it. And she said, on the flip side, my mom, on the other hand, had a deep distrust of people with money. And what she would do is whenever they would see any outward evidence of someone having, you know, wealth or, you know, a nice car or clothes or going on certain types of vacations, her mom would talk in depth about how bad people are, are that have money and the bad things that they do and the bad ways that they get that money. And she could see in the conversation that was happening last night and these questions she was asking herself, how she had spent her life very torn, where on one hand, she thought money will appear when I need it, and it did. And also, a deep sense of shame around the times when she's had more money and being very careful to not tell anyone that she has money or that she's comfortable and to really keep anything to do with money private 
because she was so afraid of being judged as a bad person if she were to talk about money and give any indication that she was similar to the people that her mom would talk about when, when she was growing up. So every one of us has these stories. We all have these experiences with money that are most likely affecting us today. And the question is, is have you spent enough time to really pay attention to um, the patterns in your life? Where did they come from? Are they serving you? Is it something that you'd like to change? Is it something that you'd like to reinvent for yourself? The story that you're, you're giving money or the, um, the story that you are telling yourself about anything related to money really that isn't helpful and positive and causing you to feel more abundance in your life. Because let's face it, whenever we're in distress or whenever we're feeling a sense of lack in life or whether it's perceived or real, it's probably not going to make us feel good. There's research that says that, that when we feel lack, when we feel like we are living in scarcity, it makes us actually lose about 12 to 14 points of IQ, which is like losing a full night's sleep. It causes us to not make good decisions for ourselves when we're feeling lack. And so rooting out these stories of um, lack and also abundance is going to be really, really helpful in the, in the relationship that we have with money. And I've found that the better my relationship is with money, the better I feel about it, the better I can talk about it with others, the more money I attract into my life and the more confident and stable and resilient I become in all my life endeavors, not just with money, but with just about everything. So I hope that that's been helpful to just Take a walk down memory lane. Think about what is the stories? What are the stories that you've been given from your family, from your society, from the economic times that you grew up in? If you do come across some things that you're not very happy about, stories that you were given by your parents, I want to remind you that it's important that you remember that they were doing the absolute best that they could at the time. And that this isn't about judgment, it's really about forgiveness and loving them and loving yourself and understanding that we're all doing the best that we can in any given moment. And we know that because that's what happened. There's really no other, no other needed time spent on it than just acceptance <laughs> and forgiveness if needed. And, um, and there's probably a lot there for many of us with money. So I hope that that's helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, like, subscribe, and um, let me know if there's additional things about the money story that you'd like me to dive into. Bye for now.